Welcome to Getting Started with Build Projects. In this short video, we're going to show you how you can tag your projects, contacts, and tasks, and why you should do so. Tagging projects, contacts, and tasks may not appear essential. However, as the number of projects, contacts, and tasks within your build projects grows, you'll find that tagging will enable you to find and manage all your projects more efficiently. From your main dashboard, navigate to Settings. At the bottom here, you'll find the option for tags and three separate areas for tags. Starting with contacts, you'll see that you have a pre-populated list here with a number of contact types that you may include within your projects. You can choose the appropriate color for them, or you can choose to have a completely customized color to help you identify the relevant contacts. You can also choose to adjust the name anytime to something that might be more relevant to your organization or your projects. You can also delete these at any time clicking the dustbin icon. Navigating now to projects, very similar system where you can choose different types of projects that you are working on and mark them by a specific color using the same system as before and you can also remove them. This will allow you to be able to sort any of your projects by project type so you can understand the type of work that you're doing and the type of communications that are happening under each specific project. Under tasks, again, you can add new tasks, sort them, change them and customize them as you see fit. The idea of this is being able to manage a certain type of task set so you can understand things that happen regularly and be able to find them and make sure they have happened within your projects. When editing the names in your tags, ensure that it is something really easily identifiable and findable so that when you filter your projects later, all your tasks, all your contacts, you'll be able to see everything that's relevant. 